Hey everybody, welcome to Bad TV. I'm your host, Journey. I'm your co-host, Jeff the Bullet. So this week we have an interesting topic that we wanted to talk about, and that topic is mid-twenties crisis. What does the term mid-twenties crisis mean to you? Uh, when I think of the, the terminology mid-twenties crisis, I think of that transition from your teenage years to your uh, twenties, your somewhat adult years. How about you? To me, when I think of mid-twenties crisis, I just think of that, that kind of panic that we get into when we're, like you said, coming into adulthood. Because I feel like when we're children, we have blueprints of how we want our lives to go. So we want things to be done by certain ages, we want to have certain careers by this age, and a house by this age. So when things start to not fall according to our plan, we get upset with ourselves, we go into a frantic, we get, we panic. So I just feel like that's basically what it is, it's that, it's that state of panic. And the reality is that you're only in your 20s and you have so much more, so much more. to do and so much more to, to live for. I agree, I agree. So do you feel like you have an experience of a mid-20s crisis? Oh, of course, of course. Uh, I remember my 20th birthday actually, I was sitting in my college dorm and just stressing because I wasn't successful yet. Um, and, and the reality of it, that was just the beginning of my journey. Once I realized that, I just kept moving forward. How about yourself? You, you had any experiences with it? Um, to be honest, I feel like I'm going through my mid-twenties crisis right now. Um, like I said, I just have, I have things that I want to accomplish and I just feel like I'm not there yet. So I get frustrated sometimes. But the reality is, it's okay. It's okay that I'm not, I'm not there yet because I will get there. It's all about putting in the work. It's all about staying dedicated to yourself. And then things will happen according to the plan. I agree. So we actually decided to go up to the local college campus and just talk to a few students and ask them about their input on mid-20s crisis and to even give some, some advice on how they overcame the barriers of this crisis. So go ahead and check out these videos. So here we have... I'm Des. Leo. Nikki. Dan. Jalen. Antonio. So what does the term mid-20s crisis mean to you? <laughs> it sounds like a meme. It sounds dumb, to be honest. Like, it sounds like it, it reminds me of that 10 year uh, challenge where like all these super young people are like, look where I was 10 years ago when I had no money and no job and no responsibilities. And look where I am now. 25 is, is still baby, it's still nothing. Okay, so do you feel like when you were in your mid twenties, do you feel like you had that state of panic when you felt like you didn't know where your life was heading or you felt like you didn't know what to do? Mm, I feel like I had, I had a lot of ambition and no plan, right? Like when you're that young, you feel like you have all this time to do every single thought that crosses your mind, except you have to do more than think about it, right? Because when you get to 25 and then you're like, oh man, oh man, I'm already 25. Like, yeah, bro, the last five years, all you've been doing is thinking. Okay, so what advice would you give somebody who's at that point in their life? When everyone tells you like, stop wasting your time on dumb stuff, or when everyone tells you you don't have all the time you think, you know, when Gary Vee says it's okay to go live at your parents' house at 30 if you're gonna create something. Like, these are people that have already been where you've been. So don't just think, oh, 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 okay, okay, old guy. Like, no, that's real, sh that's real stuff. Thank you so much for your input, Des. What does the term mid-twenties crisis mean to you? Mid-twenties crisis means that you are listening to a lot of different people tell you what you're gonna do, and then you begin to panic, thinking that you're not fulfilling these expectations. So therefore you begin to feel like you're in a crisis because you're not where you wanna be. So do you feel like you're going through a mid-twenties crisis right now? I'm going through a mid-twenties crisis as we speak. So what tips do you have for other people who are going through the same thing? The first thing is to not give up. That's the first thing that I've been told. Even my mom sent me a message out of nowhere saying, don't give up, and I was like, oh, I'll resonate with this. This is lit. Uh, the second thing I think is always ask for advice. That's going to help you. There are older, a lot of people older than you. And they'll give you advice. Ask for mentors. But like mainly it's just like a brand doesn't, a brand is every day. Whenever you're building something, if you're an artist, if you're trying to create something, it is every day. You do not have a day off. The grind doesn't stop. I get to points where I think, oh shit, I made it. Like I'm out here bossing. I'm meeting all these celebrities. I'm doing all this cool shit. But then it's like the next day, it's like, oh, well look, I got to keep working on my clothing brand. Oh, or wait, hold on. I have uh, to book this exhibition that I've been, you know, it just doesn't stop. So 
mid twenties crisis. I don't know. It's just really tough. It is tough. Yeah, it's pretty tough. Like you gotta be, you gotta be focused on yourself. You gotta hear a lot of people tell you. A lot of people are gonna pull you different directions. Oh yeah, and one thing, don't listen to nobody unless they're like actually going out there trying to chase the dream. If you're trying to talk about, if this is like, if people are twenty. They're trying to get the bag. Don't listen to nobody else unless they're out there trying to do it too. Like that's why you gotta get advice from successful people. They will help you. Thank you so much, Leo. That really helped us. So, what does the term "mid twenties crisis" mean to you? Mid twenties crisis means to me is when you, you get out of college and you kind of get thrown into whatever your major was, and it goes from being something you study to something you need to actually carry into doing. And what are you gonna do about it? For people who maybe did the military or anything like that, they still get kind of pushed out, and then they're like, "Well, what are you gonna do with whatever your skills are?" So that's kind of a crisis there. And whether it's whether you actually want to carry on what you learned in school or you want to do something completely different, you're gonna have a lot of trial and error. So the crisis right there is depending on how hard do you want to work. Perfect. Good answer. So do you feel like when you were at that age, you went through a mid-20s crisis? Um, I definitely did. I have a degree in journalism, and by the time I got out of college, no one's reading books anymore. So it's something that I had to go ahead and reimagine what does that mean for me and figure out an avenue that lets me still use my skills. So what advice would you give to that 20-year-old or 20-something-year-old who's going through that crisis? I would tell them, don't freak out. You do have the rest of your life, but the 20s do pass very quickly. So have a general plan and have determination. Find something you really want to do because wandering around, you can't work at Target forever or Walmart. You, If you, there's something you actually have a dream, then go for it. If you don't have one yet, don't freak out. Thank you for your time, Nikki. What do you think the, the term mid-20s crisis means to you? I feel like it's, it means when you have reached a point in your life where you're having difficulties getting from one level to the next. Okay, so looking ahead, do you feel like there's anything that you're nervous about or anything that you feel like you can do to prepare for that, for that moment? One thing that I'm nervous about is just being a minority and a black woman. It's hard. It's not hard to compete, but it's so much put up against me. So I feel like that makes me have to work three times as harder as hard and I'm just that's the only thing I'm nervous about. So if we were to fast forward a few years looking forward is there anything that you feel like you can do to prepare for that crisis? I feel like it's just all about working hard now. When I get to that time in my life then I already have made it easier on myself because I've done all the hard work now and I'll be possibly where I want to be in life. So a lot of the problems that I may face in the future or that a lot of people may face in their mid-20s um, I already have handled prior. Okay, that works. Thank you. So Jalen, how old are you? 22. So what does the term mid-20s crisis mean to you? It's when you're stuck in the first stages of life where you're not making very much money and you're still deciding what you want to do in life. Okay, I agree. So do you feel like that's something that you're going through yourself? Do you feel like you hear about those experiences through other people or? Yes, I, I hear about those experiences through a lot of people and I also, I experience it myself because currently I'm in college and it takes time. Like you can graduate within three to four years depending on how much course load you want to take on. So it's basically about just being patient and trusting the process okay so do you have any advice for other people that are in their 20s who are going through probably the similar situations that you're going through um, yes I do you just have to understand and just trust trust the process just trust that one day everything's gonna pay out because everything takes time it takes time to make money it takes time to be great it just takes time athletes aren't born overnight it's years and years of preparation and their dedication finally paying off one day so you just have to be patient for your payday perfect well thank you Jalen for your input so Antonio, what does the term mid-20s crisis mean to you? So to me, when I think of a mid-20s crisis, I think of an individual, obviously in their mid-20s, uh, who's kind of going through it. Um, I believe that there's a certain expectation for us to kind of have things figured out or semi-figured out, at least by our 20s or late 20s. Um, so a mid-20s crisis, to me, would be someone who's uh, approaching that type of uh, feeling of, I've got to have everything figured out. And those expectations are getting to that individual and they're unable to cope with it. That's what it is to me. 
Wow, I really enjoyed those interviews. That was legit. That was legit. I feel like they each said something that we can all take away from. And to me, what was most important is to let you guys know that you're not alone. Hey, remember, it's all about that journey, man. You got to start somewhere and just keep, just never give up at the end of the day. Just keep pushing. Keep pushing. No matter what nobody tell you guys to kind of throw you off your game, just keep, if it's something you're into, just keep pushing yourself. So thank you guys for watching. Please comment below. Tell us about your mid-20s crisis. Any other topics that you want us to discuss in the future, let us know. Put those in the comments as well. Bye.